Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Wanted to come to you with a quick video showing uh, just a couple things uh, my fiance and I picked up on Saturday or Sunday, sorry, when we were uh, uh, running around town. Um, took her to a bookstore slash kind of had video games too and records and stuff, but uh, Black and Reed. Um, I hadn't been there in years. <laughs> it's probably almost 20 years still pretty much look the same um but we went there and then we also stopped at the brass armadillo um they're having a 15 percent off sale and of course you know me i couldn't resist and she was curious too so uh we went over there uh, after church and just want to come to you and share with you what we found um obviously her stack of books is elsewhere but um she did get some things too so we'll start with the books. Uh, I found this one for World War One. I. I don't think I have a World War One video. I've um, got To End All Wars by Adam Hochschild. Looks like a story of loyalty and rebellion, 1914-1918. Well, it just looked like an interesting book. So picked that up for seven dollars, I think. I don't know if there's any sale or anything like that going on there, but maybe um, there's this older one what year is this I didn't even really look it's like 1948 <laughs> yeah this book's from 1948 I guess it is damaged there in the front but it does have a dust cover over it uh, rabble in arms so it's about the Revolutionary War era by Kenneth Roberts and illustrate a few illustrations and stuff I don't know I got that for five dollars thought it looked uh, looks like it might be a decent read but able to get to the head um, and this is one that Marilyn picked out it happened in the Old West these are stories um, all throughout the West there are different different battles or whatever going on looks like it the first uh, Port of Senate Long's Peak is in there. So it has the 1868 um, starts Alaska, Arizona, all over. The Cruel Colorado, page 22. So it looked interesting. And the last one I got, normally I wouldn't pick this up, but it happened to be the second book that I looked at where I was like, just looking to see if any, I was like, what if this is high? Uh, no. Uh, the second one I'd go to, though, this one. <laughs> Dog the Bounty Hunter's book. You can run, but you can't hide. It's signed. And I was totally shocked to find that, so I got that for $8. There it is. Um, and then the uh, bookkeeper, when he was checking out, he just happened to see that. He's like, oh, it's signed. So that's a good deal you got there. I was like, yeah, I said, I, I like to collect autographs. I don't know if it's real or not, but I figured what the heck, for eight dollars. He's like, it probably is. He said, I, I think I remember that one um, that some dealer brought it in, he said, and that uh, he bought it from. And he said that he didn't mention that it was signed because he told me that he was uh, the dealer uh, was, uh, I guess, chased by him at one point or whatever. So he hates him <laughs> and he has a signed book of him. So, um, just the fact that he knew that about the book, I guess, or about the guy probably makes it more real, more believable. So, um, thought that was kind of a funny, interesting story. Um, but the guy remembered that and he's like, oh yeah, that's, that's probably actually signed. So, and it doesn't even say autograph copy. So that's why I was kind of like, hmm, but cause usually it'd be like right there. You'd say it's signed copy. Or whatever but so maybe this was bought at a book signing and then they had him sign it I don't know send it to him who knows but I thought that'd be cool to add to the signed book collection I was reworking my little display cabinet and have some of my signed books up at the top shelf and I can add that one in there now and have have something that's kind of different from sports and like political and stuff like that so um, yeah be a cool display piece so very interesting um, then 
We did get some cards, of course. You know me. You go to the brass time and go get some cards. Um, we did not make it to those that booth with the dollar packs. There's somebody already going through them, and then we forgot. So that's okay. But I found uh, these bags of hockey cards for two fifty, and then there's a fifteen percent off sale. But actually, the seller had a bigger discount. I guess I don't. The cashier didn't say how much it was, so it brought it down even more. Uh, I imagine it was at least twenty or twenty-five. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping the TTM maybe some hockey players in here. Uh, that would be cool. I'm not going to try and say that guy's name. No, you can't. It's upside down or whatever for you. <laughs> it looks like they're all from Upper Deck Retro, pretty much. I don't know what year. But we got this one, Steve Heitzerman. His Wayne Gretzky insert. They're not in great condition. Corners around it, obviously. I've been in a bag. I figured these are just TTM cards. Oh, I guess that's not a. Oh, okay, I get it. That's not a name down there. Their name's right there. So that's Jose Theodore. We got Ed Bell for on the back. I think he's signing sometimes. He might be in Canada though. We got another Ed Bell for. We got two Ed Bell for cards. Bunch of Hall of Famers I can already see and stuff. So, yeah. So we got a decent stack of cards to try and work through. So we'll leave these right there. And then I got a couple more autographs um, for, unless these were on a discount, I don't know. I don't think they were. Uh, for 350 plus the 15% off at least. We got two signed Brian Greasy cards. And I have tried to get him uh, TTM, but never had success. So it's all these two sitting there for that much. I was like, let's get them. And they're on sale. So, <laughs> yeah. So I've got a couple of Brian Greasy's. Can add those to the collection. I don't think I have his autograph like I've ever bought one. So I think that's the first. And it did look, from what I've seen, like his signature. So, yeah. So that was my uh, little little pickup. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hope you enjoyed the autographs and the books and maybe that gives you some book suggestions too. I don't know if you're into books. I've uh, been trying to do that. been reading a lot more lately. And um, yeah, so looking forward to more videos in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.